Hello, it's Jo from Emily Cat 176 and it's Friday. So I uh, did a community post saying that the books on Wednesday are now going to be books on Friday. So it's Friday and this is what I've read this week. This is one of the books, the uh, three books I bought. Uh, this is actually the first Anne Cleves book I've read. Uh, I think I said in my other video, you know, I've seen Vera, the TV series, and I've seen Shetland, uh, but I haven't actually read the books. She still does re uh, write Vera, because I've seen some of those books in bookshop. So this is, and she's quite prolific, because look, I'll just show you. See that? They're all the Vera books. This is, that's the Shetland books on the, there. And these are the new ones, the Two Rivers series. This is the one, he's, the detective is Matthew and he's been in the Brethren. And all three of these uh, series of books has been filmed. For TV, which I think is quite unusual, because normally, and it's quite unusual I think for a writer to to have like three different series. So this one though, this um, the Sleeping in the Dead, it's a standalone novel, and it's one of her early ones. It came out in two thousand and one. Where are we? I think it was two thousand and one. Let's have a look. Yeah, 2001. Now, I don't know when she started writing Vera, um, but I liked it. And I think even with this one, you can see that she's a good writer. She is a good writer. And I think she's very good at character development. Um, it, Yeah, I, I liked it. Uh, it says... North Northumberland is enjoying a rare hot summer when Detective Peter Porteous is called to Cranford Water where the body of a teenager has been discovered. After trawling through the missing person files, he comes to the conclusion that the corpse is Michael Gray, an enigmatic and secretive young man who was reported missing by his foster parents in 1972. So this is, this is how it starts. And I do like mysteries that are set in the past. So this is, there's a, a yeah, there's a, a murder in the past. And the, the story continues on with that. Um, as I said, she's very good, I think, with her pacing. I think she's good with character development. And I mean, even though I haven't read Vera, I think even watching the series, you can see that she, Vera is a well-drawn, believable character. And I think this you can see it even in this uh, these early books. So, yeah, I did like it. Um, I didn't guess who it was. I think I'm getting old. I don't, I don't, I don't um, guess many of them these days. But... Um, I have read I have read the the um the Matthew Venn his name is these are the ones that I have read I've read both of those and as I said she's she, I think she is a good writer she's a very good writer and you can tell even in an early earlier book so um I, I I don't think I would read Vera though, you know. If you if you watch the TV series, would would you go back and read the books? I don't know. I don't think so. And as I said, I, I'm pretty sure I read somewhere she's not writing Shetland anymore, the Shetland Island uh, novels. But as a standalone novel, yeah, I, I what would I give it? I'd give it maybe four out of five. It was good. 
it was good and as I said you can already see that she's good that she's going to be a good writer um, so yes I'm glad I bought it actually because um, I you know this is this is that day I went mad and bought three books as I said, me who doesn't like owning books. This will go. This will go on Monday. I'm not I'm not hanging on to this. I don't hang on to books. Um, but of the three, this is the first one. And I like this. So I've got good hopes for the next two. I think I might read the Elizabeth George one next. That's the one... Uh... I haven't read her books for a long time and it's a Lindley one and, and and that's what a lot of the crime writers do they keep to the one to the one series um, so as I said Anne Cleves I think it's quite unusual that she's done three uh, like for example Richard Osborne Osborne is that his name you know the Thursday night murder series it was in the news this week that he's he's actually writing different books now about a I think it's a father and daughter detective agency and they're coming out it's coming out April or May this year I think but he's going to keep re writing the Thursday murder club ones as well but as I said you know she and um, Cleve, she's done three so uh, and I think that shows her versatility as an, a writer as well um, no this isn't that is that no that's not the whole series I don't think I don't think that is the whole series of of Vera I think it's just some of them because it says discover the full series at Pan Macmillan Dot com. But this is, it's good. It is good. As I said, it was a, right from the start, I, I liked it right from the start. And I like the characters. I'm wondering, can you like a book if you don't like the characters? I don't know. I don't know. But, um, as I said, I did like the characters and I, I can just, even from this short one, I can tell that she's a good writer because she keep, you know, keeps you engaged. It's well paced, believable characters. Um, yeah, as I said, maybe four out of five. So that is the first books on Friday. Uh, I will be back on Monday. So I hope you all have a good weekend. Happy reading. Let me know if any of you have read Anne Cleves. Because uh, she's popular. And, I, and really I think it's unusual that all three series are being filmed as well. So that says something too, doesn't it? So yeah, as I said, happy reading. And I will see you on Monday. Okay, bye.